Alrighty, you guys, uh, this lesson is, um, uh, let's see, we just came back from our February week off, so I'm going to do a little review in this board problem right here. I think it's board problem 68, you guys. If not, we'll get it corrected in class. If, if it is, then great, no big deal. So it says find the area of each figure. Okay, so this first one right here is a rectangle. Rectangles are just base times height. So 17 times 8 is 136. And don't forget, area is always square units. When we get into the next uh, chapter, volume, that's cubic units. You're going to be hearing my coffee beeping here. So I just it's going to be beeping right there. All right. Here is, uh, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. We know um, uh, the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, and you can, or you can recognize this is a P triple. It's a 7, 24, 25 multiple. Okay, if I multiplied um, uh, 7 times 3 is 21, 24 times 3 is 72. That's our missing piece right there. 25 times 3 is 75. So it's a P triple. P triples are going to be popping up for the rest of this school year. Okay. All right, so then once we know the base, area is one half base times height, so 72 times 21, there goes my coffee, and I get 756, and this is in inches, inches squared. Okay, all right, so this is an isosceles triangle. When it's an isosceles triangle, if you construct this altitude, it always bisects that base right there. And then what happens is, is we get another P triple. This is a 3, 4, 5 P triple. So if we multiply 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, that tells me that this is going to be 9. Okay, now if this was not isosceles, I couldn't do this because it wouldn't bisect that base. And I wouldn't know what to do with that. But since it's an isosceles triangle, when I draw the altitude, it always bisects the base. Okay, so I get 9 right there. So here's the triangle stood up, and this is what I need right there. So 1 half base times height, and I get 108 feet squared. Okay, all right, so this one is a rhombus. It's a rhombus because all four sides are congruent. And when it's a rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular, so it's a right angle. All right, so we get another 3, 4, 5, P triple. This is 6. We'll find out this is 8, and this is 10. 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 5 times 2. 3, 4, 5, P triple. So that missing side right there is 8. So there it is right there. And the area of a rhombus is this. This is what we need. We don't need those 10s anymore. It's 1 half the product of this diagonal, which is 16, times this diagonal, which is 12. And I get uh, 96. And this is in centimeters, centimeters squared. All right, okay, so this is a kite, you guys. A kite, um, there's always one diagonal that's bisected. It's always this shorter one. So if that's six, that's six. And so the area of a kite, you guys, is just like a rhombus. It's half the product of the diagonals. So this diagonal is 26. This diagonal is 12. Half of 26 times 12. Uh, 156 meters squared okay all right this one here it's not drawn to scale when it's not drawn to scale it's not and we don't need to worry about that right here because this is just a trapezoid the area of a trapezoid is we add the parallel sides times the altitude which is this 12 and then take half of that so one half base 1 plus base 2 times h, which is the altitude, and I get 66 uh, yards squared. All right, so circles, area, circumference, arc length, and area of sectors. Okay, so circles, you guys, uh, the area is just pi r squared. That's pi times r squared. Circumference is either 2 pi r or pi times the diameter, depending on if they give you the radius or the diameter right there, okay? So sectors of circles that have a central angle in degrees, Central angle means it comes out from the center of the circle. So if it's in degrees, then uh, the area of that little sector of a circle is like a piece of a pie, okay, or a piece of a pizza, you know, that little piece that comes out and it has that little wedge shape. So the area of that is, remember, the whole circle is 360. So the fraction of the circle is in 360ths, and then we just use the area formula, pi r squared, okay, and then... Uh, the arc length, we call it L, so, so if this is my wedge shape and you got this little arc right here, this is my arc length right here. So the length of this is 
the fraction of the circle n over 360 times the circumference formula 2 pi r okay or pi times d okay depending on what they give you okay so let's find the length of each red arc okay all right so here's the central angle is 60 degrees so we're finding the arc length. We're looking for this length right here. So the arc length is going to be um, 60 over 360, 2 pi r. Okay, so here we go. 60 over 360, 2 pi times 8 right there. Okay, so now the zeros cancel. 6 over 36 is 1 6. So this will reduce to 1 6 right there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and cancel. I think I canceled the 2 and the 6 now. I think, I think. Okay, yeah, I did. All right, so look, what do we have left on top? We have 1 times 1 times 8 pi. So 8 pi is on top over 3. 8 pi over 3, um, and this is in centimeters. So this, I, I should have ended this in centimeters right there. Did I do that? No, I didn't. Well, your book uh, rounds it to a decimal. I'm going to put centimeters on here, you guys. So 8 pi over 3 centimeters. Okay, so, um, uh, and how they did that, I, I like this answer better, 8 pi over 3, you guys, instead of 8.36. But what they did is they did 8 times 3.14, and they got uh, 25 point, uh, I forgot. Anyways, 25.12, I think. Anyways, or 5.6, I don't know. But then whatever that 25 point something is divided by 3 is 8.38. That's how they got that. I like this answer better. This is more exact right there, okay? I want you guys to give me this answer, okay? This is just extra work right there. All right, let's do this one, okay? So here it's going to be 120 over 360 times 2 pi r, okay? And the radius is 11 centimeters, okay? Okay, so this cancels. The zeros cancel. 12 goes into 36 three times so one-third it reduces to all right nothing else cancels you guys so on top one times two times eleven is twenty two with a pi so twenty two pi over three okay centimeters all right all right your book might round it to um, um, a decimal I like this answer much better but how they did that 22 times 3.14 whatever that was divided by 3 okay all right let's find the area of those uh, sectors in section C so let's find the area so we do 60 over 360 times the area formula pi r squared the area of this whole circle is 64 pi pi r squared 8 squared is uh, 64 but the area of this little sector piece right here is at the fraction of the circle, 60 over 360. Okay, so the zeros cancel, so 1 6 times 64 pi. Okay, and then I think the only thing I can do is 2. 2 goes in there 3 times, 2 goes in there 32 times, so 32 pi over 3. And remember, area is in square units, so centimeters squared. All right, how about this guy right here? Okay, 120 over 360 pi r squared, so pi times 11 squared. This is still one-third, so this is 121, so it looks like we get 121 pi uh, over 3 centimeters squared right there. All right, you guys, that's it. If you're in our class, in my class, I'm going to assign you that. Take care.